Kumusta mga Lodi? Today is another learning experience we have on this video. I prepared examples from a simple to complex set of equations. So, stay tuned. Let's take a look on the foundation of this particular topic. An exponential function is defined by f of x is equal to b raised to x, where b is our base and x is our exponent. So b must be greater than 0 and b should not be equal to 1. Now let's take a look on the property of equality for exponential function. Let a b and c be real numbers and a is not equal to zero then a raised to b is equal to a raised to c this is for the condition if and only if b is equal to c conversely we can say that when the bases are the same so as their exponents okay so on our example number one we have eight raised to x minus two equals 16 so our goal is to make the basis the same. Then we will look for factors from which each exponential expression resulting to the original number. So this time around, we will be using 2 as our common base. 2 raised to the third power will give us 8. So that's times x minus 2 equals. So 16, we can rewrite that into exponential form, which is 2 raised to the fourth power that gives us also 16. Now, we have the same base. Now, to do that, we can use the uh, property that when a raised to b equals a raised to c, so therefore, we can drop the base. And then, we will just simply equate both equation into its exponential pattern. So, we have 3 times x minus 2 equals 4. And then, we will solve this factors. 3 times x, we have 3x. And then 3 times negative 2, we have negative 6 is equal to 4. And then transfer this to the other side, we have 3x equals 4 plus 6 becomes 10. And then divide both sides by 3. So the answer becomes x equals 10 over 3. And this is the result. When we replace 10 over 3 to our value, the answer becomes 16. Let's proceed with our example number 2. So 5 raised to negative x equals 125. So we will not mind our exponent negative yet. Later on, we will uh, back to that later. So 5 raised to negative x, we will just simply copy that. And then we will express 125 which is the same base with 5. So we can rewrite 125 into 5 raised to the third power. So we have the same base, 5. We will drop that and then we will just simply left with negative x equals 3. And then we can multiply both sides by negative 1 so that we will get an answer of x equals negative 3. And this is our answer for question number 2. Let's proceed with the number. Okay, so we have 3 raised to x squared equals 9 raised to 2x minus 1. So let's express 9 into 3 raised to the second power times 2x minus 1. And then we can now draft our base. We have x squared equals 2 times 2x minus 1. And then just simply distribute this number inside the parentheses. We have 2 times equals 2 for x minus 2. And then let's move this on the other side so that we can form a trinomial. Okay, so x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals 0. Now, as you can see, x squared minus 4x plus 2 Somewhat, if we're going to look for factor, we cannot factor this one because we cannot see a factor of 2 that would give us the sum of negative 4. So instead, we will be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac 
all over 2 over a. So let's do that. So a is equal to 1. B is equal to negative 4. And then C is equal to 2. So let's use this information. So negative B is just simply minus 4 plus or minus the square root of B squared is negative 4 raised to the second power minus 4 times 1 times 2 all over 2 times 1 is just simply 2. Okay, so negative times negative, we have 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 raised to the second power, we have 16 minus negative 4 times 1 times 2, we have negative 8 all over 2. And then to simplify this number, we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 8 over 2. And then let's continue. 4 plus or minus 2 times, to simplify 8, we have 2 to the square root of 2 over 2. And then simply divide both sides by 2. We will just simply left with x is equal to simply 2 plus or minus the square root of 2. Okay, and this is the answer for our question number three. Now, see examples, we are now ready to solve this problem. Okay, so let's proceed with Okay, so let's express 4 raised to negative 3 into 2 raised to 2 times negative 3 equals and then we can uh, find the reciprocal of this number so that 2 raised to x plus 1 becomes up top. So to do that, we have to 2 and then when we take the reciprocal of that number, the exponent becomes negative. Okay, so remember that. And then we have the same base now. We can drop our base. So we will just simply let with 2 times negative 3 is simply negative 6 equals negative x plus 1. And then let, if we distribute this 1, becomes negative 6 equals negative x minus 1. And then all we have to do is to transfer this on the other side. So we have x equals 6 minus 1. And then our final answer is just simply x equals 5. And that's the answer for number 1. So we have 125 equals 5 raised to x minus 5 raised to 1 half. So let's express 125 into 5 raised to the third power equals 5. So let's express this expression or simply exponent into radical form. So instead of uh, x minus 5 raised to 1 half, we can express into radical, which is the square root of x minus 5. It's just the same. Since we have the same base, we can now draw 5. We just simply left with the exponent 3 is equal to the square root of x minus 5. Then from here, we can square both sides. So that the square root will be gone. So we will just simply left with 9, cancel, we have to cancel the radical form, x minus 5. And then transfer that to the other side, x becomes 14. And this is the answer for number 2. So for number 3, we have 1 third raised to negative 2x equals 9 raised to 3x plus 5 raised to 0. So let's rewrite 1 third into its reciprocal. So that would become 3, and that would also make the exponent to change its sign. So negative 2x becomes 2x equals 3 raised to the second power times 3x plus 5 raised to 0. So just simply cancels because any number raised to 0 is just simply 1. 
So, simply drop our base. So, 2x equals 2. And then divide both sides by 2. x becomes 1. And that is the answer for example number 3. Okay, so for number 4, we have 27 raised to 1 third greater than or equal to 3 raised to negative x. So let's express again a 27 raised to 1 third into 3 raised to 3 times 1 third greater than or equal to 3 raised to negative x. So we now have the same base and then we can simplify the exponent, so 3 times 1 third is just simply 1. Greater than or equal to negative x. And then to interchange its position or simply multiply both sides by negative 1, x becomes greater than or equal to negative 1. And this is our answer for example number 4. Okay, so let's have example number 5. 3 raised to x greater than 1 over 81. So let's simply copy our first expression, 3 raised to x greater than. So 1 over 81, we can write this or get this reciprocal of this. So let's first simplify 81, express this into exponential form. It becomes 3 raised to the fourth power. Okay. And then we will get the reciprocal of that. 3 to the fourth power will become 3 negative 4. Okay, so we have now the same base, we, drop, we can drop that, so x becomes greater than negative 4. So we already have an answer for number 5. So let's move on with our last. Okay, so for our example number 6, 5 raised to x squared minus 3x minus 4. So let's simply copy this one minus 3x minus 4 equals 1. Okay, so since the base on the other side is 5, let's change 1 into an expression just like this one. So remember the rule that any number raised to 0 is 1. Okay, so we can rewrite this into the form of 5 raised to 0. That is also equivalent to 1. So let's do that. 5 raised to x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 5 raised to 0. Okay, since we have the same base, we cannot draw 5. So we will just simply left with the exponent x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. Now, uh, before we proceed with the quadratic formula, let's factor first if we can find the factor of this. So to find the factor of uh, negative 3x minus 4, so we have to think of the factors that would make the product of 4, and when we add, the answer is negative 3. So simply the factors are x minus 4 times x plus 1. Okay, so x minus 4 and x plus 1 is the best candidate for our factors equals to zero okay so we, we will equate both sides or both factors to zero so x minus four equals zero x is equal to four and then x plus one equals to zero x is equal to negative one so for this we have two answers and these are the answer for example number six Once again, thank you for checking this video. You can leave a comment if this video helps you, or you can tell me which lesson would you like me to do next. Please write in the comment section. Bye for now.